Hello, people of YouTube, how you all doing? Um, yeah, so uh, I thought I'd do a bit of a VR response to Pete Fire um, about his uh, game franchises that we all love. Um, and yeah, it's been interesting so far watching everyone's hated videos. So uh, I've seen a couple of the, the loved ones and I thought I'd come put my two cents in. Starting off with a bit of refreshment, a bit of, uh, bit of cactus juice. So uh, nice chilled cactus juice there. Help me get through this video. So yeah, um, right. So this first one, it's uh, yeah, it's a bit of a harder one to distinguish if it's a series or not because it's not really. They're both by different people, but I absolutely love them, and they are the rolling and aggressive inline games. <laughs> Obvious choices for me, really. I think, but yeah. So it's sort of a series. It's it's a series of games that are in the style of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. So yeah, these games. Oh my goodness. I used to play these all the time, and um, I think was it Retro Bear who said they he doesn't understand these Tony Hawk games because if you want to go play a Tony Hawk game, then go buy a skateboard and go out. Well, no, because I used to I used to go out rollerblading, and then I used to come home, and when I was chilling out, I would play these games. I would pretend I was doing all these tricks and like learn new lines by playing these games. And and just do the things that I couldn't do on rollerblades because it's it, you kind of go a bit higher, a bit faster, a bit longer on these games. It's a uh, it's not like real life, but yeah. So the aggressive inlining and rollerblading games, absolutely of them. I mean, even the Tony Hawk games I used to play all the time because I just instead of a skateboard, I'd just envisage a bloody rollerblader on it. So yeah, rollerblading games, flipping. Should be my top, really. That should have been my top. Um, yeah, as I say, it's really hard to pick a f top five because uh, some some series were really amazing, like the Mario games, but just like let down in recent years, and I don't think it's really worth putting on as a uh, top five franchises. I, I wouldn't be able to play all the games and enjoy them, so I don't think I could really do it. And then there's other games that are just one game, I'm not quite franchised, like The Last of Us, which is amazing. And is it a game? It's probably not really. It's probably more of a entertainment, um, a bit, bit of entertainment sort of thing. Um, but just amazing. I mean, it's just games nowadays are more about storyline. But, I mean, that's great. It's As long as it's entertaining me, I'm all for it. But, yeah, so the none of these games really are entertainment they are purely gameplay really so yeah next up i think i'm going to introduce uh the pang series so um these are the only ones i've got at the moment i used to play it all the time on the amiga all the time on the super nintendo this is the super famicom version um and if you don't know what pang is basically you're going around like uh, single screens um and you've got like a little rope gun that you fire up into the air and you pop balls and it sounds really boring and simple but as the levels go on it's pretty interesting it's pretty good uh, and sometimes you get ropes that stick up in the air to like catch the balls as they come along sometimes you get guns that you can like repeatedly fire but yeah so you got the the super famicom one uh, the DS one, which is a bit weird. It's not quite the same, but the gameplay is exactly the same. So it's still a pretty good game. It's just, I don't know, the skin's not quite quite there. And uh, the newest one, which is Pang Adventures on the PlayStation 4. Now, this is a limited run game. But, yeah, this was just amazing. So, yeah, great, like, addition to the franchise. So, yeah, if you're into Pang, definitely, I, I definitely advise getting this one. So yeah, still need to get a few more, but I mean, a lot of them are just the same, but I can just go back to them games and just play them like, and just have a whale of the time. Not exactly the best of them, but yeah. <laughs> um, right, next up. Um, right, so we'll do this, I think. So, uh, the next up is Mega Man. So, what we'll start off with is uh, all 1 to, si one to 6 and 7 to 10. Now, I've actually never played 7. <laughs> no, not 7, sorry, 8. Um, so I can't really say what that one's like. But 9 and 10, the newest ones, are brilliant. The ones that are like in the same vein as like Mega Man 2. And not quite uh, 4, 5 and 6 where you get all the extra abilities. It limits you back down and it makes it 
pretty good. I still enjoy all these games. I w I've just run through all these again in the last year, and I'm ready to go through all these again uh, soon. Um, yeah, I used to have them all on the NES, all box and everything like that, but I don't really do NES anymore, and if I do, I'll be getting American ones, car only. Uh, I won't mind getting them again, but for now, I'll just have the PlayStation 4 ones. So, uh, ones I've also got is um, the Mega Man uh, 1 to 3 boxed on the Game Boy. I've also got Mega Man 4. Mega Man 5 is absolutely... I think the Nintendo ones are expensive. The Game Boy Mega Man 5, oh my goodness, that's flipping ext extremely expensive. And uh, Mega Man ZX, which... Yeah, I'm I'm putting in the Mega Man original series here because I'm not really I I do like the Mega Man X series, but I just prefer the original, just basic Mega Man. But this one's a bit more like a Metroidvania sort of like I hate saying that term, but yeah, where you you can like backtrack and go and to open up new bits of levels and everything. Real fun game this one actually. So this one's only on the DS. So yeah, advise getting that one, even though it's nothing like them other Mega Mans that I've just mentioned. But yeah, Mega Man, I mean, really boring choices, but sometimes the for fran for a franchise, top five franchises, I mean, they're, they're always going to be good games and they're always going to be what people love. So it's I think a lot of these are going to get repeated. Uh, I'm not sure if this one will get repeated or not, but this is like such nostalgia for me um, and it all started off with this one which is uh, Super Parodius <sighs> man I love this game it's not the best game it's not the best shooters in the world but it's just so much fun and this not this exact box but this is what I had as a kid I had the super found conversion of this game with this artwork and I was just blown away. I would be opening up the manual, taking it out and like drawing all the characters in Parodius. And uh, I think on Superplay they used to like Parodius quite a lot. And I think there was in quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of their magazines. And I'd just be drawing all the Parodius characters. I never had this one, but yeah, this is another one of the Parodius games for the Super Nintendo. There's another one that I'm missing, uh, chatting Parodius. Well, it's something else in Japanese, but uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah a bit of risque artwork and everything in some of them but it's like really kiddie graphics and then real risque sort of like <laughs> on the background um but yeah i absolutely love them and i'm trying to get every parodius i can get hold of uh so yeah here's this um playstation one uh which again that's just i think that's just exactly the same as that uh the yellow box super famicom one and uh parodius da on the game boy which is the same as the Nintendo one, uh, which Proteus Star I think is pretty much Proteus Two I think, um, but yeah, I've not got the game, uh, Nintendo one. Um, I don't think it came. Did it come out in the America uh, on the American Nintendo? Because I used to have it on the uh, pile of box and everything like that. But as I say, I got rid of all that stuff. But yeah, such a great series. As I say, not the best shooter, but the best looking and it's just got the most character. I mean, it's got. A pirate ship with a cat face on it i mean it's an automatic win <laughs> um right so what's that one two three four so yeah i mean i think everyone probably knows my top choice is obviously going to be call of duty franchise i mean why would i not want them as my top pick fucking trash no of course it's not going to be that <laughs> uh it's going to be uh the castlevania series Oh, I forgot to bring one down. But, yeah, so, um, starting off from the N Nintendo, again, I've not got any of them at the moment, but I probably will pick them up again because the American carts are not too expensive, really. But um, 1, 2, and 3. Well, 1 and 3 are probably my favourite uh, Castlevanias. 3 probably be my top favourite one. Super Castlevania, pretty good as well. Like That's sort of like a reimagining of the first one. Um, and I've not got any of the Super Famicom ones, but again, they are on my list to get, but obviously quite expensive. So yeah, I've got the Game Boy ones, and controversial um, Xbox 360 ones. But these ones are actually pretty good. These are really good. Um, sort of like a hack and slash. A lot of people say it's a copy of God of War. 
No, it's not. It's it's a natural evolution of Castlevania. You're going around flipping a whip and it's put into 3D. But this one is absolutely amazing. It's quite a long game as well, really, and because it's over two discs. And oh, it's so much fun. And um, yeah, I, can't really, I don't want to spoil the storyline, but yeah, total change on the second one. Um, it ends it on this one with a cliffhanger and then goes on to this one. And yeah, I don't think the gameplay is quite as good, but it does look quite spectacular. So these games are amazing. I love them. I actually, this is was one of the first games I pre-ordered in this generation. So <laughs> um, yeah, love them games. And it got me back into gaming again. Before, um, before I got these, uh, well, this game in particular, I stopped gaming and I picked up an Xbox 360, got this, because obviously I used to love Castlevania, and then it got me hooked again. And then um, Castlevania for the PlayStation 2, which I've not actually played yet, um, but I've played these, and these are amazing. Um, this is basically Symphony of, the, Symph Symphony of the Night, but in 3D. So, I mean, I prefer the 2D Castlevanias, and it, because it is 3D, it's a bit and early like 3D. It's quite a bit clunky, but still a lot of fun and like a lot of atmosphere from the Castlevanias um, and do you know what Sympathy and Sym Symphony of the Night is a pretty good game but I totally prefer the handheld versions there's a third one for the DS as well which I can't, I've not quite got there's just a missing one here that should be there uh, but that one's getting quite expensive now it's, I've seen it sell for like 80 quid uh, but these again, very similar to Sym Symphony of the Night, but like different stories, different characters that you um controlling, but just typical Castlevania, so much fun, love them. These are my top picks for um my favorite franchise. I love them so much. I've got like um uh, I've got Castlevania tattoo uh there. Well, the whole sleeve is sort of like inspired by um. Castlevania, uh, just done in the sort of like style of the artist. I didn't want it to be too video gamey, so people think, "Why well, have you got a video game tattoo?" <laughs> but yeah, so they're my top picks for um, my video games. So yeah, Call of Duty, not really number one. Castlevania. So yeah, uh, like to see what you all think and uh, see what your top five games are. See you later, and uh, probably see a lot of you guys tomorrow at Revival. Bye.